Hey, fuck cancer. Shout out to Boozy. I fuck your main bitch. I think we're cool. Let's get it. Hey! Ah! <laughs> you got a facade? You got a lot of oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, I said, you're this is, you're doing, 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 doing,
Right. <laughs> oh, good, I know, right? It's our first time. That's crazy, right? Yeah, let's do it. Man, come on, man. Welcome to the house, homie. Mm -hmm. I see your jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I see your jacket. Yeah. Yo, thug in here, y'all. Hey, 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 hey. That shit caught me off guard. Yeah, okay, so which camera? How are you? Can be, well, so chasing. either here or here. Let me see. Here is the camera. I'll go over here. There, there's two of us, guys, so one of us will okay. here and one of us will there. So you two don't have to go. Are you going to see NBC? No. How you doing? The morning, guys. How you doing? Hey, y'all. Hey, you over here? Hey, Cassie's over there. Hold on, hold on. How you doing, man? Just chill. Hey, I'm excited to have you on the show, brother. Have fun with us, man. It's all love. All right? Tap on everything. Put it all over. What's up, man? What's up, man? I can't just greet you normal, man. Can you do it, baby? Can you do it? One more camera. <laughs> yeah, man, you got the whole totality right. so right? yeah. 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 To me, but I'm just in Well, you might. This is on you. It seems no to me, but it's on you. The moment we've been waiting for. No doubt. It's the moment we've been waiting for. It's big, it's big, it's big. It's true. I was really excited about our next guest today because. Like moths are attracted to lights, mm. I am attracted to people who disrupt the status quo of things. Okay. And in the culture of hip hop and rap, uh, since this man came from nothing mm. years ago and hit the ground running and teaming up with the likes of Gucci Man and all these different folks, he's helped to change the landscape sonically. Uh, visually, um, even how people promote and market themselves as we know it in rap today. He's a part of the New Atlanta movement, and an overall overarching thing, he's a part of a new movement that's taking place in rap music. This is his first time on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Young Thug is here. Yeah. I was reading about your, your time with Kanye West, you know. Uh, what was that experience like for you? Because Kanye, by far, is an you know, iconic figure in this generation of music uh, across the board, not just rap, you know, every, every genre. And, you know, I've been around Kanye plenty of times, and there's always something to learn when you're around him. What, what was that experience like for you? He's so sophisticated. Um, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was a, it was It was time with Ben because... You know, it, you know, he's like Kanye's like Fifty Shades of Grey. You want to know, you want he's interested, mm -hmm. so you want to be like, all right, let's let's I want to be around him. Let's see, you know, he's interested in. He's really into music. Mm -hmm. He really is. He um he don't interview you or nothing. He's just like, come on, mm -hmm. <laughs> listen to these speak, listen to these songs. I might put these out. I might, you know, he let you just, you know, he's he's he opens up fast. Mm -hmm. So he's I think he's very very interesting. I think he's a guy that. Almost every man would want to be, or would want to be like, mm -hmm. or would want to be in that direction, including me. Now, tell us about your artist that you got coming out. Uh, Lil Duke, he's on a, um, he's on a couple of the songs with me. With the, he on that Dome song, he on the um, Rick that song. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's here. Duke, he's what up, man? Come be seen, man. Just come yeah. be seen, Duke. Duke, Duke come over shine. here. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Yeah, Lil Duke, sister, you know. Okay. What up with you, sir? What's up, man? You bring some bars with you? Yeah, I got that. Okay. You got that? Okay. Uh -huh. Well, uh, that's what I want to do, man. I know Thug has got to go. Uh, but, man, I really enjoyed this conversation with you, man. This is the uh, first time we've had you on the show. Love to have you back. Okay. Uh, but before you go, man, you know what we do on Sway in the morning, right? Turn up. Yeah. New York style. We got hyenas that come up on this show. Hyenas! Thugger. We got hyenas on this show. Hyena, hyenas. Number one rap show on the planet, damn it. Talk about it. Swear it all. It's all downhill from here. True. You know. So with that said, man, let's get, get, let, get, get some headphones, man. I know you got some. I know you ready. Get it, dude. All right. Let's let the other go first. All right. Ready? Let's drop a beat on him. Ooh. Pop. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Real life. Lifestyle. Right? Yeah. Mm. Mm.
<laughs> These niggas got the kids acting like they're gangsta. Oh. Sway in the morning. These niggas got these bitches thinking that they gangsta. Oh. <laughs> Jumped off the porch as a youngin'. Banana. Put it to a nigga, don't. That's funny. Banana. Huh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Sway in the morning. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that lives real hectic, you know. <laughs> uh, and this pop? That's uh, loonies. I got five on it. I got five on it. I got five on it. Mm -hmm. Who that is again? The loonies. It's, can I rub back them or they? Yeah, yeah, they're good. They're from Oakland. Mm. One minute you want me dead, next minute you a bitch. One minute you want me dead, next minute it's a leap. Uh. Pull up to a nigga block, AK rifles. We bustin' like we damn snipers. I'm the trillers, beast, cow fifer. Shit it, what a house of diapers. Huh. <laughs> 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 I can't clearly sleep in no man cause I got that drum drumming. I'm sleeping in the mouth. I got a tongue thumbing. Uh. <laughs> I'm a young beast bitch ain't no damn youngin'. I ain't stumbling in your house. I got your bitch coming over here. Diamond shining. Light up like a deal. Mm. I'm ready. I'm for real. Living musical with no chairs. <laughs> We seen the process live. Yeah, that's how I rap in real life, though. Yeah, yeah. You know, Mike Lowe made it say, said when you, uh, when you did uh, throw some more, that you just went in the booth yeah. and just just came off the top and yeah. just flowed yeah. like that yeah. just in five minutes. Yeah. So I wanted to witness that. You know. Oh man, five minutes. You want to flip a? You want to flip the beat? Yeah, yeah. Let's flip the beat. Hold on, let's flip the beat. Flip the beat. Flip the beat. <laughs> Hey, that's some yeah. pock right there. Yeah. Okay. okay. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's okay. That's what you're like. Okay. There you go. We got you. Huh. I was banging in the front like a clerk. I jumped right now on it. Ah. I, I jumped right now for that money like a vert. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah. 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 Dude, you gonna jump on that too? Yeah, look, dude, 60 yeah. in this motherfucker. Yeah. It's my yeah. artist, my motherfucker. Another. Yeah. I love it, mama. Hey, mama, mama. I got a whole lot of bitches in my mouth. Fuck. She's in there, though. I'm in my mouth. She's in there, though. I'm in my mouth. Don't jump on that, man. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, you going to acapella? Yeah, but it's, uh, he made a request. Like, like, uh, <laughs> like shout a name on. Uh, I mean, shout out on the Nick Cannon show. Oh, yeah, cut oh, yeah. the beat. Yeah, cut the beat. Yeah, yeah, wild out. Yeah, wild out. He said, cut the beat. Um, they call him my line. He bitch in form of line. I'm a bitch in form of line. Put dick in their spine. Ain't rolling overloaded. Can't tell the time. Ain't cuffing these bitches. Hell, no, they ain't mine. Don't see me with nines and I only fuck dying. You bust up at niggas ain't having no rhymes. Break Whoa. a whole brick down. Put <laughs> it in the trap. Used to make the rap. I switched it up and rap. Diamond shining like a lamp. Ahead of the pussy nigga by a lamp. I'm walking in this bitch like a running track. Yeah, I'm gonna be, I ain't gonna get you. You ain't gonna give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be, I ain't gonna get you. <laughs> I like that you though. You know how many dudes come up, don't won't come up because I'm gonna ask them to rap. I appreciate y'all. Huh? Yeah. Oh, you can call you me. Need it, talk to you, so why they won't just say, why they won't, why? Why they just won't say they ain't freestylers? Yeah. Well, see, here's the thing. You ain't got a freestyle. You could kick a written rap. I just like for people to come up and spit. You and know, they because, yeah, they be, you know. Well, I I won't use the word scared. That's the word you said. Maybe <laughs> I don't scared. Either. Yeah. Okay, they scared. And so, <laughs> yeah, fuck it. It's 2016. They be they, fucking they, scared. They scared. Yeah, they scared. And so I appreciate you doing that. And off the top, you could have kicked the written, so you uh, came off the top, yeah, young thugger. Okay, give him a round of applause. Hey, 
Give him some more. Give him some more. One more round. One more round. Come on, man. Hey, man, I had a good time. You this your home. Yes. Time you want to come up and talk about it for real? Come up and see us, okay? Oh, oh my God. I don't know if that's too. Well, I mean, it's not working, but he can take another one if you want. It's a land in the Hamptons, huh? I like them. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dug a thug, bro. All due respect, man. Can I get that flick, G? I'm a big fan of your music, man. I've been changing this since day one, bro. I've been supporting your movement, brother. Why don't you just get take a flick. picture? Just take it. He don't want to take no picture, though. Take it. Just take it. I'm a big fan, man. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. How your camera not going to be together, man? Like, it's your TMZ. Huh? So what do you got left on your bucket right list? You've done it all, but what do you have left on your bucket list? Take it up. It ain't good. Oh, my bad. Damn, it's so good. Hey, do you ever think about the, uh, the Bill Gates thing and all? So let's let's get some clarity on some of these projects because I know you have um I know we got mixtape coming. Yeah, slam season three. February. Yeah. But then there's an album too, right? But then high tunes is coming too, right? Yeah. Do you have a date for that? No. But soon? Yes. Yeah, you have a season? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Slime Season 3 comes out February 5th. Okay. And um, okay. High Tunes, I, don't, I still don't have a date for it. I'll probably drop one. I'm going to do one more mixtape. I, I got a mixtape I'm working on. It's a project with Fair Wap. Mm -hmm. It's going to be probably like an eight song EP. I'm going to drop Slime Season 3. That sounds drop. like a problem. You and Fetty. Yeah, you and Fetty sounds like a problem. That's so crazy. They would put you together or uh, you just vibed in? Tay. A and R. Hmm. <laughs> uh Geoff. Lior had some ends with it. But it there was he is. most definitely talked him up. Yo, you said Lior's name and he just walked yeah. in. You see how that Yeah, he just said your That's name. Beautiful. Wow. Hi love. Hi. Hi. What's did that? you hook him up with Fetty Wap? I don't remember. Yes okay. I did. Go have a yes, seat. I Can we did. get another chair over there? He it's okay. Your... He said your name and you walked in. It was very strangely. Well, you know, we have it like that. Hi, you know what Kev. I'm What's happening? Slime.
some songs you want to start smooth. All right. Sometimes you don't want to come just, right. just so you know, boom, because then they, they fall out fast. So I learned that with all. Uh, I learned that with Check. Check the first verse was cool, the second verse was serious. But the first verse, it gives them time to open up. And it's still hard. But the second verse, they beat. So he's coming next week. Him. Felix. We gotta sign him. To fix all the records with you. We gotta sign him. Second, so gonna, give us some coffee. Some oh, I got some sweet bubble gum. Some juice or something. Yeah. 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 Hey. We've we been up for a while, haven't we? We're going to talk after you. you the morning shift starts at 5? <laughs> at 6, man. Okay. Yeah, 6 o'clock in the morning. All right. So All I right. got a new baby's eye this. Hey, we're going to okay. talk more to Leo and Young Thug in a minute. Welcome y'all to D.C. Mountain, Virginia. This is our good Good morning. Friends. This good is morning. a big deal. We have Young Thug and Leo Cohen actually in the studio right there. This is major. So, like, we appreciate you guys. Now, in case uh, anybody don't, let's start with Leo. If yes, anybody sir. don't know who Leo Cohen is, first you can just Google him. But besides that, mm -hmm. this is the guy who's legendary for what? About forty years. Everything. I, I'm not going to talk about myself. I'm Leo telling you, Cohen is seventeen the guy. years ago, me and Ja Rule, we all had to get somewhere. He let us hold his jet. So just put it like that. He's the boss. <laughs> seventeen years ago. Private. And then of course Young there Thug. There were jets back, back then? <laughs> it was yours. <laughs> <laughs> I know I had one. <laughs> young Thug, welcome to the fam, sir. Oh man, appreciate y'all for having us. Welcome back to DC. Nice jewelry. Now, how'd you guys hook up? How did Leo get with Young Thug? How'd this, how'd this collaboration happen? God. Well, all I, I, all I try to do every day is find the hottest. And it's, <laughs> you know. Like a bumblebee. <laughs> huh? Like a bumblebee. Yes, oh, all right. <laughs> Alright, what do you say right before like a bumblebee? 
what I said before. Bumble, bumblebee, cause that joke go out on like who? The lyrics. Yeah. I wasn't bleeding bad like a bumblebee. Yeah. And then one last lyric when you say num 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 can yeah. Lifestyle. Living lifestyle? Yeah. yeah. It was living a life that was living. I'll be making it up. I go. Living life like a beginner. Living life like a beginner. This is not a guy. Well, yeah, that's so Michael okay. Jackson's your favorite singer. Who you, could you sing a little bit? Prince? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, he's my height, so you're coming. <laughs> 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 What do you think made Young Thug stand out? Because Leo, I tell you, there's a million and one artists that come out mm -hmm. every day and they call us on the radio, play my song, play my song, and they see us in the club, play my song, play my song, and they call Leo. Check your DM. Hey, can you, can you listen, listen to, to my, my demo? Song, please? Young Thug pops and you're he's, popping right now. It's because he's fearless. Mm. Doesn't care about all those rumors, call them? haters, okay, like naysayers. He, 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 he focuses on his, his art and doesn't care about anybody. But what he, you know, what he does. Young Thug, five years from now, will Young Thug still be as hot as he is right now? Mm. With the music industry changing so much. Probably not, probably a little Hey! I love it. I love it. Confidence. I want him to do 30 minutes of drops right now. <laughs> we, we got them all right okay. here. We got them. Quick, come jump in the pictures. They live. Yeah, so they live. Well, you're gone. Remember, Coca-Cola wants that song. Okay, I want. Come on, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like a signature, signature drop that he could come in in autopilot. He doesn't have to think about it. He already developed it. He says, yo, this is a kid, Thugga Thugga. He has one. And you're wrong, but he has that. Yo, okay. this is a kid, right? Thugga Thugga. Get this right here, bro. Real legend on the wall, man. It's DC, man. So it's. Oh. Yeah, living legend. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. <laughs> Let's do a Valentine's Day thing. I don't know. Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah. Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day best friend. Yeah, best friend, yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah. You're hanging out with my best friend on Valentine's. Happy Valentine's Day. Hey, this is the Kid Thugga Thugga, and you're rocking with all of the best friends on Valentine's Day. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, this is the Kid Thugga Thugga, and right now you're rocking with best friend. Please rock with me. Rock with me. Rock with me. And then you could do something like when I'm in D.C., hanging out with my best friends. You know, mm -hmm. well, in the DMV. This is the Kid Thugga Thugga, and when I'm in D.C., or the DMV. I'm like with all my best friends at 93.9. Let's get it. All right. That's the one. <laughs> That's the one. I like that. I like that. I knew we had it. I knew we had it if we stayed in it. 93.9 WKYS. Hot 104.1 St. Louis. Let's go. Let's go. And Leo, this this one only one. Y'all got to show okay. That one ain't fitting. Yeah. Shorty the Prince said here, man, and I, you know, I, I was kind of surprised, Thug, when they said you was coming down tonight doing an interview. I'm like, man, I ain't think Thug do no interviews, you know what I'm saying? Man, man, we all human, you know, we got to come down for the the the, the, the whole, whole, whole 93.9 in St. Louis. They rock with me strong, too. 100, 100, man, and of course, you got Boss Man with you. Uh, Leor, man, you got, you know, over 30 years of success in this game, man, and, um, you know, started out uh, over Def Jam and, and you know made major move everywhere else, man. And now you got 300, right? And, and through what it is, 300. Yeah, the whole. Yes, it man. is. I'm very humbled to be here. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you being here, man. So, Thug, I want to holler at you a little bit, man. Uh, we got we got hot tunes on the way. We got slime season three on the way. Uh, but we don't got a date for hot tunes yet, right? No. Not yet, but uh, you know what I'm saying. I mean, it can happen any day, right? Any given day, probably the day. Okay. Weezy man, he got he don't have a lot of uh, tracks on the um, on that slime season three and on hot tunes. You know what I'm saying? He my newest uh he's my newest discovery. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I signed him. I brought him in with me and under me and you know I think he's 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 perfect. He got so, a lot of my beats that's already out. I just can't really think of him. Mm. Yeah, he's serious though. So is he signed under YSL? Or? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. And then you got artists. How many artists you got about the label? I got like four or five artists. I got one of them with me. My first artist, his name is Lil Duke. Okay. He's on a couple of songs. He's on the, um, the Dome song on, on Bar to Six. Let's go out there, Dome. Yeah, he's <laughs> on with that. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So no, I got the homie with me too, and yeah, man, we just, you know, striving for the best. And you say you and Duke, y'all came from the same hood, right? Yeah. Now, is it true, now, now um, I, I, I was, you know, of course you're coming in, so I'm looking up stuff about you, and they say, you know, you came from a rough area in Atlanta, and they say, I guess the projects or whatever that you came from, they're not even around no more, they had to turn them down? Yeah, they had to dismiss those. Damn, so like, how did that work? You know, you know what I'm saying, when you, when you go back to Atlanta, like, are you going back to still that same neighborhood, or, you know what I'm saying, or do you even go back, like, how does that work, if it's I mean, not even there no more? Like? The, the neighborhood is, is not there, you know. Sometimes, you know, before I made it, so, uh, to to the superstar status, I used to ride past, reminisce, you know, mm -hmm. shoot videos in front of it and all that. But yeah, it's it's closed down. It's gated. You can't even get in. You gotta mm -hmm. like jump a gate to get it. You know what I'm saying? But Damn, so that's most that's of my like time in the studio. that's a real blessing. You made it a fighter, though. Like. Yeah, they always work together. It's always helped. Mm -hmm. Being honest, you know, before I even made it made it to be a superstar, I worked with Gucci, Tip, Jesus, yeah. you know what I'm saying, before I even made it to be a superstar, so right. I can't say it's not help, it's always help. So it's help everywhere, you know what I'm saying, you just gotta, some people you gotta bring it out of, and yeah. Atlanta got, Atlanta don't have like a lot of houses, Atlanta got like a lot, a lot of projects, so, mm -hmm. you know, everybody know, everybody in Atlanta, like 90% of, of Atlanta, you, you came up helping, because, you know, projects, that's how projects go, you know, right. you, you, you could kill a nigga in the projects, nobody tell, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, so everybody, every project, well, most of the guys that like came up rapping and stuff, they came. I mean, all the superstars like Tip, Jeezy, me, Usher, Future. You know, all of, all of the rappers, mm -hmm. the big superstars, they came from projects. Right. You know what I'm saying? Projects as in part apartments. And had, and everybody got that mentality. Yeah, everybody too. got that stay together mentality. Like everybody from Jones Russ out, I'm ready to dive out. You know what I'm saying? Sorry to you, but I was like, uh, <laughs> everybody in the building. I know everybody <laughs> Got your hand on. Remember uh, Brian Berger, Walter Randolph? Oh, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I was that yeah. artist when I was like okay. 13, 13, 14. Is, is this an expression of your creativity? Of course. Or yes. did the barber just fuck you? Yeah, did you pay the <laughs> or you didn't, you didn't pay the barber in his full tap? Is this you? What? The shoes is okay, it's not this. On his back. Is that thing on his head? He looks like. Oh, he didn't choose the barber wife. No, no. He said he didn't choose the barber wife. No, no, he skipped the barber. He what? He, he paid the barber like half price. Oh, the bullshit. <laughs> yeah, he he the barber said, okay, fuck it, I'll give you half haircut. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you gotta be paid for this. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm sorry, we're working and you're just relaxing. Now I'm working in the bus ready for the job. Um, <laughs> no. Did the money man stiffed you? <laughs> <laughs> you must have gave him half of the money and then you gave him half a haircut. <laughs> yeah, no, it is right now I'm on the bar. We, we should be nine or a ten. What, what okay. counts Why the four, Leo? Uh, uh, four is, it takes a little time for him to warm up to the interview. He needs a piece of paper, a big piece of paper with all the talking points. I have one, um, but he that, throws it out every time. No, but Patrick, every time he goes into a studio, needs to have it taped right in front of him. All the big points that Amina and Shadow are going to give. Eyeglass company, um, slime seat app, all the talking points so he doesn't have to guess. He could just give, you know what I'm saying? The other thing is, is just so we're clear, drops are the most important thing. In my mind, this interview will be gone in the morning, but the drops live. The drops, if you could do Valentine's, the Martin Luther King, all these drops, this is thugga thugga, they, it lives forever. And um, I'm coming to town, when you have a promoter paying for you that you could just say a general um thing yo this is thugga thugga i'm coming to town i'm gonna turn it up there you go thugga thugga in the building Hey, what's up? Hi, everybody. How's everybody doing? All right, first, I'd like to... Lior, you up on the stage. And, and the, do everybody know who Lior is? Yeah. 
No, because yeah. you actually know Lior because without Lior, some of your music would not be possible at all. At all. So, Lior, briefly, can you just tell them who you for these? Is there some young people in the building who don't know who you are? I was the original road manager for Run DMC and the Beastie Boys. Um, yeah. That was in 1983. Um, from there, that was called Rush Management. We um, managed Curtis Blow, went on to represent um, and sign and build a, a, a record company called Def Jam Recordings. And um, um, LL Cool J, who just got the um, Walk of Fame star on Hollywood Boulevard. I sent them a note and I said, I hope it's a microphone and not just a television. Um, um, because, you know, Hollywood has a, a history of, of taking some of the most important people from our art form and taking them to Hollywood. So anyhow, uh, I'm just a, a, a lover of what I do. I, I'm really not sure exactly why I'm on this stage, um, other than the fact that um, I'm taking one of the most creative, one of the most um, um, courageous artists that I've come across yeah. because he doesn't pay attention to all the um, noise and bullshit that, um, um, that gets, you know, people, people actually in this game only want the same old on repeat. And we have no interest because I think part of our responsibility is to push the boundaries of this art form and have courage and support people that is as creative and willing to to explore like um, Thugs does. Thugs? Yeah. Thugs. Can you do a mic check for me, please? Mic. No, let's bring that closer. Yeah. Mic chizek, one tizzle. Yeah, yeah. Is it good? So whenever you're ready, you can start those drops. You got a problem with me? Me. Look at me. Everybody needs a bat. Everybody needs a guy they could point at. <laughs> me. What movie is that? Prince Pablo. <laughs> All right, come on. Knock them out. Yo, what up? This is the Kid Thugger, and I am hot now. Tween. Leo, first of all, it's a pleasure to have you here, bro. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here. And thank you, what you for what you've done. Um, to this art form and supporting all these artists. It's incredible. Thank you. Thank you for what you've done, not only for hip-hop, but for the music industry in general, man. I've, I've been a student of yours for a long time, so, so thank you. So thank you for what you did for a lot of accounts. <laughs> and Thug wants to thank you, too. So the first question, I guess, uh, for Thug via Lior is, what is it? what was it about Young Thug? You know, given you know the history of artists that you've worked with and how you've been able to mold artists, what was it about Thugger that said, "Yes, this is the one"? So, if anybody actually studied my career and understood what particularly I've been interested in, is I've been interested in not just talent but courageous, courageous artists that aren't just willing to accept the status quo. And I think it's really hard. In this society, it's really hard in this art form because taking risks oftentimes aren't rewarded. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got a screw face on, a lot of haters, and everybody's got an opinion, especially in the social media era. So when I come across someone that's not just immensely talented, but courageous, mm -hmm. come on, think about Public Enemy. Yep. When they were fighting the power and they had the S1Ws and Flavor Flav. Yep. Think about the Beastie Boys. Think about the acts that have actually changed the course of the music business and this art form. And it wasn't just redundancy. Remember, before Run DMC, Run DMC represented the around the way person. Before Run DMC, everything was aspirational. When it came to the um, Furious Five, and, and Cold Crush Brothers, it was all sequins and leather and, yeah. and boots and, and, and flash. And then Run DMC said, you know what? I want to represent the people around the way that could actually dress like us on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm constantly looking for the most special artists, but 
particularly the most courageous ones, is always by putting them in a situation where they could communicate and, and perform in front of their fans. That's where the truthfulness happens. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's, it's weird because that's not happening a lot. Like you don't have you don't have record labels that will will embrace new artists. Well, it's because, not just know, embracing; it's um, it's also investing in. Mm -hmm. you yeah, know? right. That right. costs a lot of money putting that's that tour lot, on, that's a lot. and that's a big risk that labels don't want to take anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and they can take that risk with them with big artists that they have. Yeah, it takes a lot of a man to really come scoop down to the level and, and, and really do it on the that. on yeah. the lowest level. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah. And and be hands on, be hands yeah. on. And what it allows you, Thug, is the opportunity for for your music to actually be heard and like what I'm not a part of the your, your true vibe. No, I mean just being a part of Leo and oh, being a yeah, part of Three Hundred. It gives you the opportunity day, yeah. to have your music just really heard the way you want it to be. I mean, the number one thing is for me is he's hands on. You know what I'm saying? Number two thing, he helped banks accounts at all. You know, mm -hmm. They need to be doing some kind of inspire. They need to be doing some down at these banks about you, man. Mm. <laughs> okay. You know how complex and all these cat these cats want to do things about you to you know to you know embrace the, the, yes. the fearless man that yeah. you are. Mm -hmm. They need to do this at these banks, man. Mm -hmm. I understand. He's your own currency, Leo. You, know, that, you need your own money, your face on the bill, man. I feel. I feel. I feel like I that. Uh, um. You know. If you had the chance, what bill would you put your face on? I put my. Um, face on the dollar bill because it's in the most circulation. Yes, and it's okay. the lowest bill. Okay, so so that's the it's the foundation of the currency. The foundation, which kind of speaks to who you are. Yes, Boom. yes. Start I get from it. the scratch. Your style, man, and going to uh, the mixtape that's dropping next week, Slime Season Three. Um, how'd you develop your style, bro? Like, it's just it's just off the wall, like nobody else is doing what you're doing, man. And people can barely understand what you're doing sometimes, but says you're really on to something. Like, how'd you I, develop that style? I developed it by staying um, sucker free. I developed it by staying- Sucker free, you gotta you, you got help us out with that, bro. Uh, not worried about what people think. Got it. Or say. Okay. Or do. Okay. Or feel. And staying in the studio. And staying in the studio. That must have been hard to really, like, like it's, it's really no surprise talking with you and Leor, the fact that you're with 300, because I would imagine certain labels would have given you issue with trying to come out and just totally do you. You know what I mean? Did labels try to change you early on to try to get you to do this more, or do that less, or be this kind of artist? Leor isn't like that. Leor is like, what you like to do the most, I'm going to put my heart, brain, and money behind. He ain't really trying to change you. He'll ch he change you mentally. He don't change you. No. Aesthetically. You know what I'm saying? He no, I get it. I, the aesthetic is, is, is top to bottom yeah. who, who you were day one of those like. He told me to change. Right. The way I eat. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, the way I wake up. You, you didn't change the way he eat, the way he eats. I know, no, man, I, 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 know I know I know you know Russell's a vegan. I don't know if you're a vegan right. too. No, I'm not a vegan, okay. but but I'm a healthy. Got I'm it. healthy. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Let's talk slime season three, man. Comes out this Friday. Oh uh, man, slime season three this yes. Friday. February. What do you want? What do you want fans, old and new fans, that you're getting today, this weekend? What do you want them to know about who Young Thug really is, man? As you kind of set this kind of path in your career forward, man. I want them to know that um, I'm a brighter star, and my best, my single car best friend is very, very, very in need of uh, eye, eyesights and, and hands and typing. Yep. And Slime Season Three is coming out Friday. Bet, bet. What's what, what's next for you, man? Leo mentioned the touring and everything, man. Yeah, I'm gonna what's... do a tour. I'm gonna do a tour for the Slime Season Three EP. And it's gonna be probably worldwide or at least in the US just to make sure I come back and see you guys because you know you guys are the number two people that pay attention to me. Number New two? York number one, then we're, we're DC we're, number two. DC, oh, okay, I, I got you. Okay, cool. You know, and I'm from I, Atlanta. I, so I was just I, checking. I, right, right. You're from, you're from the A, right? And, and you put us above it. Thank you, bro. No, it was. On YouTube. It's on the, like, YouTube. All the data. All the points. data, like, people uh, who watch my stuff. Oh, okay, I got yeah, you. I got you. I got you. We're your second biggest market. Yeah. Boom. And I okay. thought it was gonna I be got Texas. It. I got it now. You better. I got it. It was New York, DC, then Texas. I can see that. I can see that, man. And, and as this song kind of reaches more, more ears mm -hmm. and more women gravitate to it, man. 
it's going to continue to shoot up, man, for real. I, I don't think you've even, even scratched the surface of who Young Thug is about to be, bro. You did. Yep. There it is, man. Young Thug Slime Season 3. Uh, in your hands on Friday, Leo Cohen. Thank uh, you. The, 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 the master of the ship, as it were. 300 Entertainment, uh, formerly of Warner, formerly of Def Jam. Oh, my God. Music Impresario. Thank you, bro. It's a great pleasure. Thanks so much for having us. Hey, fuck cancer. Shout out to Boozy. I fuck your main bitch. I think